hello people here we are to see the url navigation once again so last time we saw the url navigation with the neuro package but now here we are to see the beamer package because there is a drawback in when using the fluoro package uh, we cannot move in both the directions in the browser okay so it's like moving backward and forward we can only move backward in fluoro package but we can do uh, forward as well in beamer package so let me show you the output If you can see I came all the way back and there is the forward button enabled as well so I can move forward as well right so this is an advantage of a beamer package and uh, because it uses navigator 2.0 uh, not like a fluoro which is using navigator 1.0 right so uh, I also uh, made a dynamic URL which uh, which takes a parameter like a product one and show it here and also here okay so i can come back and i can go forward okay so so these are the agenda and what we will be learning today so first thing we will be understanding the boilerplate goals and the things we need to get started with the beamer package and uh, and i will also show you how to understand the code structure that i have here because i am not going to type any piece of code here Uh, but I have made all the things ready so so that we can only learn here and not waste time in typing the code yes so then the second thing is how to move forward like uh, pushing the pages and how to move backward like popping the pages and also how to clear all the navigation stack and uh, pop to a single page right so and there is one another variation to pop the route actually so you will also see that and there will be a bonus lesson on understanding the beamer package and how, how to debug the beamer package okay so it's like uh, it will be uh, more useful in the long run you see debugging is most important thing okay so let me give you the first understanding of the binary plate code and uh, things to get started with the beamer first uh, i am in the main that that page so whenever you are using beamer so you will have to ma make the things in the first widget that you have okay so my first widget is my app so i am mentioning all the beamer related stuff in my first widget if you go to the second widget you will have problems so stick to the first widget this is the widget that that is used as a default okay so material app dot router in this router information parser you will have to provide beamer parser which is kind of a default and the router delegate you will have to provide the router delegate uh, with all the urls that you will be using in your app okay so in my router delegate i used a slash which is an initial path of mine and a profiles page and a products page and there is one dynamic url as well which has a which is which has a parameter so i can pass any parameter and i can push that page okay so i will be pushing uh this page if you see the products page okay so which is available here i will come to that and uh, also there is one important thing to learn here is uh, is to use keys so you will have to provide a value key and uh, one rule you have to follow is the key must be unique okay and there is another parameter called title so you can always provide any title you want so i am providing uh, a dynamic title here so if i push product one it will show product one here it will if i push product two it will show product two here or any name uh, that i provide it will be shown here okay right so understanding the code structure now so i am in the main page it is already uh, demystified and uh, the home page so home page has nothing but a text and a two text buttons uh, a simple page so if i go to profiles page profiles page also not has nothing but a text and a text button and the products page okay products page is nothing but this page if i click on products it will be in the products page products page also has nothing but a text and a two text button that push products uh, like product one and product two so whenever i push product one or product two so i will be given with only one single page which is kind of products actually i call it products 
so if i click on products you will see only this if i go back and click on product to the same page but with the different values because we are passing two different parameters here product one and product two so that's it that's the only thing we have in the code coding part like understanding the code structure that is done so let's see how we can move forward so what is the line of code for the forward forward moving like a page push okay so which will be available in available in home page so let me go back to the home page yeah so if i click on profile i am beaming for which is pushing the page in in the beamer stack okay the beamer history so if you see this is the line of code that we use to move forward okay so beam to named this function and uh, the next thing is beam back okay so we have moved for we have moved forward so let's come back okay so if you see i have i'm using the same piece of code uh, like beamer dot off context but the function is different like uh, beam back i have to beam back okay so i'm in this profile page now so if i click on go back i will be beamed back to the home page see it's gone and the one thing to note here is uh, from the navigation history this page will be removed so let's say i'm clicking on profile page now so there will be two pages available in the navigation stack now uh the home page and the profile page okay so if i click on go back the profile page will be removed and only the home page will be available so this is basic uh stack working actually yes okay then then it comes to pop to named okay so this is one special function so unlike beam back which only pops the page that uh, we click go back okay but this pop to named will remove all the pages from the stack okay uh, it's like remove all the pages from the stack okay so let's see this in action so i'm going to use uh, this page if you see uh, in the products page i have mentioned this particular line pop to named and in the pop to named i have mentioned slash profile okay so uh if I go to products and a product one and if I click on this now it will remove all the pages in the stack but this profile page okay so if I click on this it will be it has moved to the product uh, sorry profile page and uh, if, uh, usually if I go back the it should go back to the previous page right but it should uh, it will not in this case because there is no page to go back okay so if I click go back there is nothing okay so this is this is pop to named and this pop route okay so this pop route is one another function uh, which does the same thing as pop to named but uh, there is no documentation available in this uh, beamer package to how to use this pop route so uh, let me show you how to use this pop route so when uh, uh, in order to use this pop route you will have to use this pop to named parameter that is available uh, whenever you declare the url okay so whatever url you mention here it that url will be used when you when you use pop pop route okay so i have mentioned product three which is which is a url that is not even available so right so if i go back to product and and comment this and comment this i refresh it right so go back to home page as well and I'll clear all the stack by refreshing the page see there is the values are cleared actually so products product one if i click on this now this will this will route this will route to product three okay so let's do that so it routed me to product three and as you see this page is not available so we see not found page here okay so that's it people and the only only one thing left is this bonus lesson and the debugging so understanding beamer is important so i will have to add one single piece of code for the debugging purposes so you can use this 
line of code for you your debugging as well right so i will show you how this debugging works okay let me uncomment this and comment this this Now it is ready. Uh, let's run it once again and see. Okay, go back to home. Refresh the screen so that I can clear all the stack. Right. So if uh, let me expand this console as well. Okay. So now if I, if I click on profile now, you will see there are two pages available. Now so that this is this home page and uh, that is this profile page. Okay. So if I click go back, you see the profile page has been popped and only the home page is available. So if I click on the same thing happens here as well. If I click on products, so products, products is pushed, product one, product this is pushed. And if I go back, uh, okay. So if I click on this, then everything in this stack will be removed, right? So that is the behavior of pop that we saw. So this is the this is the one that is available. So it is it is going to pop to the page profile. In the meantime, it will remove all these pages. Okay, so that is the behavior that we saw. So let's see that with a proof. Okay, so here we are. If I click on this now, it is moved to profile, but only the profile page is available in the stack. Okay, so that is why if I click go back, nothing happens because there is no page to go back. Okay, so. So this is how you debug and I think you understand it, how, how Beamer works. So thank you folks. We'll meet you in the next video. Have a good day.